Help us build an Islamic studio at www.islamicstudio.org link in the description. And this is for the first fourth things that I would mention. He said, I heard the messenger of Allah saying, وَجَبَتْ مَحَبَّتِ لِلْمُتَحَابِينَ فِي وَالْمُتَجَالِسِينَ فِي وَالْمُتَزَاوِرِينَ فِي وَالْمُتَبَاذِلِينَ فِي Four categories of people. If you want Allah to love you, at least try to be a part of these four categories. He said the first one, first one, Allah said, Allah made wajib upon himself that he will love everyone that loves another person for the sake of Allah. I repeat, Allah made wajib upon himself that he will love anyone who loved another person for the sake of Allah. Let me ask you this question. How many people truly that you love him or her for the sake of Allah. Because the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam fi musnadi Ahmed al hadith Umar bin Khattab, look what he said about the categories of people. He said on the day of Yawm al Qiyamah, there would be people who are so close to Allah, so close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then the Anbiya, the Nabis, and the Shaheed. And you know what Nabi is, and you know what Shaheed is. Nabi is someone who is guided by Allah. Shaheed is someone who gave his soul for the sake of Allah. The Nabi and the Shaheed, would, they would say to themselves, what did they do to deserve that status? They are that close to Allah. What did they do to deserve that status? So one of the Sahaba said, Ya Rasulullah, what did they do? The Messenger of Allah, he said, there are people who loved one another only for the sake of Allah, without any blood ties and without any business transaction. Just for the sake of Allah. Find four or five people that you really love them for the sake of Allah. That's the first category. The second category, he said, fi. Those who were set together for the sake of Allah. For the sake of Allah. Not for political reasons, not for business transactions, not for social events, not for a wedding, not for a chit chat, but you sit together for the sake of Allah. You know, Umar bin Abdul Aziz, he used to say, Umar bin Abdul Aziz, after he finished the work of the government, he used to bring righteous individuals and he used to say, let us sit and remember Allah. Let us remember Akhirah. Those are the people who deserved his love. So that's the second. Third category of people, people who you visit them for the sake of Allah. Not that you form the Jama'at Tabligh, you know, you know, you know, because you're Tabligh and you just visit Muslims. No, someone you say, you know, I know where Sayyid al Qadi lives. I don't want business from him. I don't want a favor from him. I just want to visit, visit him for the sake of Allah. I'm visiting. No other business, no other intention, only for the sake of Allah. Do you have that? Then you're good. The fourth category he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, وَالْمُتَبَاذِلِينَ فِي Those who will give for the sake of Allah. Give. And not only money, but sometimes you trust yourself, give of your time for the sake of Allah. And Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, وَلَا أَنْ أَمْشِ مَعَ أَخٍ فِي حَاجَةٍ أَحَبَّ إِلَيَّ مِنَ نَعْتَكِفَ فِي مَسْجِدِ هَذَا شَهْرَةٍ He said, for me to help my brother, you know, one little thing is more beloved to me than doing i'tikaf in my masjid. So that's number four. Number five, Ibadullah, is doing nawafil. If you want Allah to love you, do nawafil, as much nawafil. Nawafil, the messenger of Allah said in hadith al-ma'roof, very famous hadith, hadith, man aada li waliyan. At the end he said, at the end he said, nothing is more beloved to me that I ask of my servant than to him to perform the fara'id. And then he said, but if my servant keep perform, performing nawafil, which means voluntary prayers, voluntary sadaqah, what do you call salah? Then Allah said, then I will love him. 
So if you pray your nafil, Allah will love you. If you pray your witr, Allah will love you. If you pray your sunnah, Allah will love you. If you do fasting Thursday and other days, Allah will love you. That is number five. Number six, number six is for you to be always ta'ib ila Allah, always repenting and going back to Allah. Because Allah said in the Quran, Inna Allaha yuhibbu tawabin. Allah loves those who always repent. Not only when they sin, but always repent. Always repent. And the last one, Ya Ibadullah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy on all of us. The last one, the Messenger of Allah said, and the Ahabu Nasi illallah, he said, the most beloved people in the sight of Allah, and Fa'uhum Linas, those who will benefit others most. So if you want Allah to love you, don't discriminate. Don't say, I will only help Somalis. I will only help Pakistani or Indians. I will only help Syrians because I am of that, you know, race. Don't do that. Why would I only cry for my own? people but the messenger of Allah said if you want Allah to love you most then benefit everyone everyone my beloved brothers and sisters every one of us we want to be loved by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and what else do we need when the cherisher the nourisher the sustainer Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves us and there are seven types of people whom Allah loves they are the ones who loves others for the sake of Allah. The ones who sit together for the sake of Allah. The one who visits people for the sake of Allah. And the one who gives for the sake of Allah. Gives charity, donation or the helping hand, whatever it is. They just give not for any other benefit other than making Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala happy. And when a person prays nawafil, he becomes beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because Allah loves the nawafil deeds beside the obligatory ones, beside the farad ones. And nawafil brings a person closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So perform a lot of nawafils, do sajda, do prostration to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, wake up for tahajjud and pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah loves it. And Allah loves when someone repents. When someone does tawbah, when someone does istighfar, so repenting brings you closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives your sins. And Allah loves when you ask Him for forgiveness. So always try to repent to Him and He will open the doors of sustenance, open the doors of opportunities and He will make your life a happy one and he will put barakah, he will shower mercy and blessings in your life. And finally, Allah loves those who benefit others. No matter how you do it, when you help others, when you take care of others, and when you benefit others, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will love you. And when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves someone, he tells it to the Jibreel, and Jibreel tells it to the rest of the angels, and the rest of the angels spread it to the world, and the people in the world, they start loving you. So what an amazing win-win situation it is. Let's try our best to become the beloved of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let's do these deeds which will bring us closer to Allah, and which will help us gain the love of Allah. May Allah make it easy for us. Help us build an Islamic studio at www.islamicstudio.org link in the description.